We're getting ready to take the cabinet into the camper for installation, but before we do that, I'd like to go back and show you a few of the steps we took to get to this point. In preparation for designing our new cabinet that we'll install here on the driver's side, I built this replica out of cardboard. It was very helpful in being able to visualize with our gear that we wanted to put in here, where to put the shelves and just how to gen generally overall configure it to best suit our needs. So today we're trying to get these wires um, in a manner that we can set our cabinet in here and they won't interfere with that setting back into this corner. So our thought process is to get them behind this panel. If they can run behind the panel, they'll set below floor level here and then behind the panel as it goes up. And what we've done is I've undid all the screws across the top. Um, down at the bottom it has staples in it that staples into the aluminum frame. Uh, but I've got it to where this will pull out. I can pull this panel out and I can see, you can see down behind and I can see all that aluminum frame and I'm going to measure that out in case I want to fasten my cabinets to that wall and know where that aluminum framing is. So the plan is now I'm going to pull this out, slip the wires behind and we'll see if we can get this panel back to set flush so it doesn't interfere with the cabinets being square on there. All right, this is what it looks like after we got the wiring run behind this panel here. As you can see down here in the bottom, um, cut a little bit more of a notch right there and tape these wires so they would lay flat and not bulk up as much. Uh, they have to kind of go over the aluminum frame there, and then when they get up to about this point, they're back in the styrofoam, and they ride that styrofoam all the way up, so this paneling's pushing it back into the styrofoam. And then again, um, another relief cut right there as it comes out over the aluminum frame, and up, it goes up into here. And so our cabinet will come up and cover that. The countertop will be up here, so all that will be covered. And then down here, you can see the that will the bottom of the cabinet will push these wires down in and that will press back in there like so uh, we might round the back edge of this a little bit with a router just so it does not uh, pinch those wires as they come up over the aluminum frame i've got a couple connections here at cs humphrey uh, they got all my materials ordered for me my uh, sheets of product have been laminated and we are getting ready to cut all the parts for the cabinet out on this machine here behind me. Okay, prior to doing this, uh, I drew everything up on this graph paper here. made me a cut list. All that gets programmed into this machine and uh, it lays out the best way for the boards to be cut, the most efficient way so there's not as much waste. And uh, so we're going to get the cut.
cabinet's done and I'm one happy man. Uh, we put a laminated countertop on it, which will be good for prepping food. And also we can put the uh, cook stove up here if we need to cook inside, if the weather's bad. Uh, on this back, we'll put some type of a backsplash on it at some point. And we opted for sliding doors for the simple fact that if these were hinged, they would swing out into this small space and they would be cumbersome to get around and maneuver the area. Uh, on the bottom is that we got the heater installed in there and that was done at the same time as the cabinet. And so I've done a separate video just for the heater install itself. So check that one out. Uh, these two shelves, uh, we spaced them according to what we had going into the cabinet. Uh, we got the non-slip material to keep stuff from sliding around when we're on the road. Over on this half, this will all be pantry. So lots of room for our food. Now, in installing the cabinet, I only screwed it through the bottom. Didn't attach it to any of the walls. And the one thing that I would have done differently was move this cabinet over just a little bit and left a little more space here because with offloading the camper, we've noticed how much flex there is from the side wall to this front wall. This gap will open up and close as I lower the uh, camper down. And I've noticed even when driving around town that this countertop is pushed against this front wall and is rubbing it. Here's all the cooking gear. Let's see if we can get it inside the cabinet. I went way deep into favor debt on this cabinet build. Hopefully someday I'll be able to repay that to everybody. But that's all the way from spitballing the design to ordering up my materials, cutting out and laminating all the parts, edge banding all the parts after that. I got miter folds on my shelves and they had access to the equipment to do this, but they had a very strong knowledge of what they were doing. And I sure appreciate that because it wouldn't have turned out as well without you. Oh, and don't forget the painter behind the camera. Thank you, guys. We're not quite done with the camper build. Uh, over on the passenger side, we need to clean that up. And we're also going to put a toiletry cabinet in over there. So check back with us to see that. Until next time.